What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, Mr. Gary Russell Jr., the longest reigning champion in the current league, in the sport of boxing right now, WBC, super featherweight, 126 pound world champion, superstar boxer, Mr. Gary Russell Jr., takes to social media once again to call out undefeated three division world champion, former junior welterweight. Undisputed world champion, currently the WBO welterweight world champion and widely considered pound for pound number one fighter in the world, Terrence Bud Crawford. He says, if you didn't know, recently reports came out that Terrence Crawford and his team have offered former IBF welterweight world champion, British superstar boxer, Special K, Kel Brook, $1.5 million for a fight, in which uh, it's being reported that Kel Brook and his team want to start negotiating that $4 million. So they feel like the offer coming from Terrence Crawford, Team Crawford, so on and such, is being a lowball offer. With that said, a lot of people feel like that's too small of a number for a guy of the magnitude of Kell Brook. So Mr. Gary Russell Jr., who has stated that he has sent two offers over to Terrence Crawford, to compete with Terrence Crawford, to face off against Terrence Crawford, as they had a built-in history and storyline, he says that, make the fight happen. I'm sending you two offers. Let's make it happen. So Mr. Gary Russell Jr. responds to the reports that he offered Terrence uh, Kell Brook $1.5 million, in which he has this to say. He says that, you know good and well Kell Brook is not going to take no $1.5 million. He wants to get paid for his services just like everybody else. You know he's not going to accept no $1.5 million. He says, but I tell you what, between me and you, it's personal. So I'll take the $1.5 million, send it over to me. Let's just listen to what Mr. Gary Russell Jr. had to say regarding this issue. He ain't going to take the fight. He ain't going to take the fight. It's not, a, it's not about the money at this point. You said you was going to break my neck. You said all this other stuff. You got mad because somebody asked me a question about something that happened years ago. And when I answered honestly, you got your feelings. Now you say you want to break my neck. It ain't about the money. Now I just want to fuck you up. I just want to put my hands on you. What's up? So you see, Mr. Gary Russell Jr. said, it's not about the money. So the $1.5 million that you're offering Special K, Kell Brook, I'll take that because it's personal now. And so let's make it happen. Uh, Terrence Crawford is running out of opponents, in my opinion. This is a fight. Might as well go ahead. Most of the fans, most of the boxing pundit feel like Mr. Gary Russell Jr. making a four weight class jump from 126 to 147, 21 pound weight jump. It's just unrealistic on the part of Gary Russell to be successful. Uh, we've seen other guys come up from smaller weight classes and compete at bigger weight classes and be successful. They haven't made such a jump of this magnitude, but they've made a jump, right? And so who are we to deny Gary Russell? If he's confident that he could compete against Terrence Crawford, make it happen. We saw guys like Mikey Garcia, four-division world champion, Mexican superstar boxer, continue to challenge Errol Jr., Errol the True Smith Jr., who is the undefeated, unified WBC, IBF, welterweight, world champion, superstar boxer currently right now. But at the time, he was just the IBF champion. This was before he fought Showtime Sean Porter, two-time welterweight world champion. And uh, everybody thought it was a joke that Mikey Garcia continued to call out Errol Spence. And Mikey Garcia was, was set and was super serious about making this fight. And guess what? The fight came to fruition. Now, Mikey Garcia got what he was looking for because he lost every single round against Errol Spence. At one point in time, Errol Spence laughed it off. Errol Spence didn't even think it was realistic. Errol Spence didn't think Mikey Garcia was being truthful. Errol Spence didn't think Mikey Garcia was being real. And then he found out Mikey Garcia truly wanted the opportunity. Mikey Garcia told the boxing world that he sees something in Errol Spence that he feel like he can exploit. And the fight came to fruition. Now, like I said, Mikey Garcia came up major short as he didn't even win a round, in my opinion, against Errol Spence Jr. But nonetheless, the fight came to fruition. 
So right now, currently, Terrence Crawford doesn't have an opponent. Eight division world champion, Filipino superstar, legendary, iconic boxer, currently the WBA welterweight world champion, Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao, is being reported not to even compete in, 20, in the year 2020. He's not looking to get back in the ring till 2021, according to his trainer, legendary, iconic, Hall of Fame trainer, Freddie Roach. We know he's not going to get the fight with Errol Spence because Errol Spence has a fight coming up with two-division world champion Danny Swift Garcia November 21st. We know it's not going to be Showtime Sean Porter because Sean Porter just expressed the fact that he asked Terrence Crawford if the fight was available, would you make it happen? And Terrence Crawford told him, no, not no time soon because he had other plans. Uh, he's offering Kell Brook $1.5 million. That's not going to get it done for Kell Brook. Right? So who else is there? Your Danis Ugas is tied up right now. He's going to challenge, uh, uh, fight for the vacant WBA regular title. So unless Terrence Crawford is going to go the route of fighting one of these young, rising, upcoming superstar boxers like Jerron Boots Ennis, Virgil Ortiz, then who is he, who's there for him to fight? He looked to fight Josito Lopez. Josito Lopez turned him down and now is, look, is going to be uh, more than likely the co-main event on, on Errol Spence, Danny Garcia card against Maurice Mighty Mo Hooker. So who's left for Terrence Crawford to fight at this point in time? Go ahead and make the fight. If Gary Russell Jr. is asking for this, there's a storyline, and he's going. He's willing to take the 1.5 he was offering Kell Brook. Why not negotiate and make it happen? There is no opponent uh, in the foreseeable future that's going to you know, uh, become available all of a sudden for Terrence Crawford, and they're looking to stage his fight, his next fight, November 14th. And these, 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 there's something, needs, there needs to be some movement on the part of Terrence Crawford. And why not take on Gary Russell Jr.? There's a built-in storyline. Uh, there's still social um, distancing. Uh, there's still no fans at live sporting events. So he's only asking, he said he'll take the 1.5 that you're offering Kell Brook. So make it happen. Why not? What else? What else? What other direction is he going to go in at this point in time? Uh, the guys at junior welterweight like Josh Taylor and uh, uh, Jose Ramirez. Jose Ramirez is fighting Victor Postal. Unless uh, Jose Ramirez after beats Victor Postal and decides to move up to 147, there's plans for Jose Ramirez to fight Josh Taylor in an undisputed match at junior welterweight. So who is there for him to fight? Why not take on Gary Russell Jr.? Yes, like Errol Spence, he's going to be in a lose-lose situation when Errol Spence fought Mikey Garcia. But it's a big fight. It's a storyline. There won't be no fans in attendance, and he's in your price range. So make it happen. So let's see how this all plays out. But uh, that's all I got for y'all. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy, Blue, Blue Blood Sports TV. Hey, like, comment, and subscribe. You haven't subscribed? Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV or one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire LDBC. Shout out to New Media. Shout out to Black Media Row. Make sure you like and share these videos. That's all I got for y'all. Peace.